Hey everybody, welcome to another fly tying episode from Holsingersflyshop.com. Uh, I've been getting a request here a little bit lately with steelhead season and stuff. Uh, a lot of guys like using live bait. We're fly fishermen, so we don't like using live bait. So we like to imitate the live bait, and waxworm is a very popular steelhead, steelhead bait. Uh, especially here on the Great Lakes like in Erie and stuff. And uh, you know, I know a lot of guys that use them along with single eggs and stuff. So they work real well, and they also are killer on your trout and your trout streams. Um, I've been tying a lot here lately for customers, and I thought I'd share you the pattern that I've been tying them with lately. Um, you know, as I always progress in my tying and my things, I always try to make things simpler. The old wax ring pattern that I had, there was a lot of steps to it, and it just took a lot of time. I can hammer these things out, and they catch fish, and they look so realistic. So, uh... I'm going to quit talking here because this is a simple fly that doesn't need a lot of explanation. It's a wax worm, guys. Um, here it is in the vise and the material list to tie in. Okay, there you see the finished fly, and uh, let's get into tying it. It's really easy, and um, it's real realistic looking. So, for a hook, I'm going to start out with a fire hole, 315 in a size 12. Um, if you're going for a wax worm, this is what I feel is pretty much the correct size for a wax worm. For lead, I'm going to put .015, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap it on here, Start about where the barb of the hook should be, Oops, sorry there, and wrap towards the eye. And I'm going to press it tight, make sure I get it nice and tight. And I want to go about a eye length, maybe an eye length and a half behind there. And then I'm going to hop up on top and make, oops, I'm going to make two or three wraps on top here. Just to make a nice taper to my body. Whenever I get it all tied in it's going to be higher in the middle skinny on the outside so the next thing then we're going to put on some cream thread and the cream is important because it's going to give us that wax worm color showing through the Kylie's nymph skin so we're just going to start it on there and I see I got a little scraggler there so we're just going to nip that off with my finger now and I'm going to wrap this down it doesn't have to be perfect and covering all of the lead right now because I'm going to put on some other material. So trim that off there. And then I'm going to use a piece of six pound clear mono. It doesn't have to be six pound, anything close. It's just enough to give you a rib. Even three pound would work. You know, use your tippet material. This is maxima, six pound maxima to be exact. And we're just going to wrap that just around the bend to give me a little bit of turn to this fly. Then, with my Kylie's nymph skin, you see it comes with cut off end. I'm going to cut a nice little angle to it. About like that. Make a little ramp out of it. And we're just going to tie that down. And that's going to give us a tapered look when we start wrapping it around. So we're just going to tie it down about an eye length behind the eye. And then I'm going to pull it up over top. And I'm going to pull it tight so it doesn't create a lot of extra bulk up on top. I'll just wrap it back there to the bend where I stopped. And now I'm just going to make sure I get all that lead covered not showing through. Like that piece. Oops. Clean that up there a little bit with my finger. Get it off of there. And re... Oops. Reset my hook in the vise here because I pushed it a little too hard. And just clean it up nice and good. Now, I'm going to put one little quick half hitch right up here. And that's just going to keep my thread from unwinding as I use my rotary tool. You don't have to use your rotary tool, it just makes it easier here. And I'm going to pull this tight and I'm just going to just slightly over wrap each layer. 
which is going to make a little bit of a rib to this fly. And I'm just going to keep going forward with it. And as I get towards the middle, I'll go looser in the middle and tighter on the ends to, you know, get that nice taper to it. And then we're just going to keep this pulled tight, wrap it off. Nice tight wraps, and we're going to cut this off. Alright. And I'm going to put a whip finish here because I'm going to switch color of thread. Just a small whip finish. You could continue with this and just take a brown marker, or I'm going to switch to brown, but I'm just getting used to my new vise here. I just got a master vise from Renzetti. And it didn't have the tension set just correctly on it, so I just had to put a little turn on her there to make her a little tighter. So I'm going to switch to some um, Nano Silk from Semperfly. And this is 12 watt. And the reason I switched to it is because it's so thin, I don't have to add a lot. And it'll change the color of it the way I want. Now we're just going to come in with our ribbing here. And I'm just going to go each one of those ribs that we created with the overlaying wraps. We're just going to come in and rib those again. And then I'm going to wrap it off. And that is all that's to this. Get a couple good wraps on there. We're going to cut this off. And then I'm just going to finish up a nice little tight head here with this nano silk. You can see there that makes a nice little brown head on there which I really like. And I'm going to put a little bit of Solarez Bone Dry just to secure it and make sure it doesn't go anywhere. And make a nice little finish on the head too. So There we go. Just spin that around, get it the whole way around and we'll hit it with our light and we are done. And you can see that is like the perfect size for a wax worm. Alright guys, like I said, you cannot get easier than that tie. Just a couple simple materials and um, it looks so natural. That's That nymph skin is killer. I've caught a lot of fish using that stuff. And I've been using it in a good bit of my videos here lately because it catches fish. I was just up in Erie Steelhead fishing and uh, caught a really nice one on the Spaniard. So, you know, that grub look, the wax worm for this situation, this stuff just works great. And uh, use it up because it's easy to tie with. So, have fun guys. If you need any of the materials, like always, I listed it down in below. And uh, this is the wax worm that I'm going to be selling at the shop. So, if you need any of this, you can find it on the shop or you can get a hold of me, um, you know, either on the website at wholesingersflyshop.com. Or you can contact me at wholesingersflyshop at gmail.com if you want to make an order, put together a special order or something for steelhead season here. So, you know, give me a shout if you need anything. And until next week when I bring you another fly tying video, I'm Sean Holsinger.